गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एप्लीकेशन द चैप्ट द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज थियोरी ऑफ डिमांड हियर द फर्स्ट टर्म इज डिमांड लेट्स सी डिमांड इज एन इकोनॉमिक प्रिंसिपल रेफरिंग टू अ कंज्यूमर्स डिजायर टू परचेज गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस एंड विलिंगनेस टू पे अ प्राइस for a specific good or services at a particular time students here we have three terms the first one is a desire the second term is the willingness to pay and the third term is the specific good now let's consider here that a demand arises out of these three things the one thing is desire for that commodity the second thing is willingness to pay for the same commodity and the third thing is ability to buy let's consider this with an example here there is a consumer suppose he needs some medicines now for that medicine he is he must need to go to a shop but students demand will arise only after he has the money for those medicines and he is willing to pay for the same medicine after the payment of that particular consumer that the demand will arise so this is an perfect example for demand now demand is of three types the first one is joint demand it refers to relationship between two or more commodities when they are demanded together example demand for cars and petrol pen and ink all are joint demand uh, students we can consider this joint demand by uh, another example let's consider for preparing coffee for preparing coffee we need coffee powder then milk then sugar so we can say that for preparing coffee all these three things require so demand for these is known as joint demand students after this we have the second type of demand that is direct demand direct and derived demand here when various items raw material that is raw materials are required to make a particular commodity the demand for various goods is termed as direct derived demand for example say uh, for the construction of a building we need bricks cement sand iron and some more uh, materials so all these materials that is the raw materials their demand is known as the derived demand and after this we have another term direct demand the demand of ultimate goods is known as direct demand that is the building so building is here the direct demand and all these raw materials are the derived demand after the students we have the third type which is composite demand here a, com a commodity can be used for several purposes and its demand is directly linked to its various uses such type of demand is known as composite demand for example milk milk can be used for preparing either tea or coffee butter or cheese or sweets or many more items so here total demand of milk for all these products is known as the composite demand so students these three are the types of demand after this we have to understand determinants of all the factors affecting demand students here these we are going to consider something which affects the demand now what those things are let's consider the first one written here is the price of goods students it is very common that if the price of any goods will increase its demand will fall let's take an example of in uh, example say for a medicine if the price of uh, although we cannot say uh, take an example of medicine because it is a compulsory goods i'll let you know after a few times that uh, what is a uh, compulsory goods let's take an example of a genuine item say um, a television so students if the price of a television just a minute say price of a television will increase then its demand will fall down 
so it's very obvious to understand that if the price of a uh, uh, television will increase the demand of the same will decrease so price is something which affects the demand of tv now another thing is income of consumer if the income of consumer will increase the demand of those consumer will also increase because now they are having the more amount to spend so they will demand more therefore income of consumer is also a factor which affects the demand now third one is price of related goods students here for price of related goods first we need to know two terms the first one is i hope now it is more clear the first one is composite demand oh uh, sorry are uh, two types of goods the first one is the complementary goods and the other one is substitute goods let's consider these two students those goods which can uh, which are used together let's take an example like of car and a petrol if we are having the cars and it is running on petrol therefore we cannot use a car without petrol another example can be pen or ink pen we cannot use pen without ink therefore these are the example of complementary goods after few minutes i'll tell you why we are reading these two another one is substitute goods substitute goods are those goods which can use for the replacement like say uh, some people are habituated to drink coffee now suppose the price of coffee is getting too much high then in this case people can use tea also say if price of coffee was earlier rupees 100 per kg and now it is it became uh, say 500 rupees per kg so people will switch to tea because tea is somehow not perfect substitute but somehow it is a substitute goods therefore now why we are reading these two because we are having our third point here as price of related goods so in price of related goods we have two terms the one is complementary goods and substitute goods all the goods in this category and in this category are related goods say pen or ink if the price of pen will increase the demand of ink will decrease because if the price say suppose uh, the price of uh, petrol is getting too much higher so people will tend to buy diesel cars and not the petrol cars therefore demand of the petrol car will fall so that's the simple thing which is known as the complementary goods and the another one is substitute goods in substitute goods suppose uh, as we have already considered the example of coffee and tea so it is just that therefore price of related goods also affect the demand now the fourth term we have is expectations of future prices uh students sometimes we are having a kind of expectations that in future maybe the price of uh, some goods will increase or decrease sometimes uh, we can take an example of uh, say in the uh, in the time of uh, um, crisis of onions we are having uh, many time these type of issues in our country like uh, sometimes the price uh, of onion gets increased uh, just back two or three months before uh, this happened that the price of onion was increasing like drastically so if someone is having an expectation that okay because of the bad weather or because of anything the price will increase then in that case what will happen that they will store more and more onion with themselves so that they can sell it on later time at a higher profit therefore if the price if the expectation is there of future price it also affects the demand because in that case people will demand more if they are getting to know that okay now in the near future the price will increase then they will demand more after this we are having a population it is very common students that if there is more population in a city the students will demand uh, sorry the population the people will demand more goods the more 
least the consumer goods so there will be more demand of the consumer goods if population is more there will be more demand so it is also a factor affecting demand students when you are reading these kindly keep these sentence into your mind that we are reading determinants or factor affecting demand after this students we are also having few uh, few sentences the first one is the sixth one is the weather conditions if uh, suppose it is the it is the season of say uh, winters now in winter season the demand of uh, winter clothes increases so it only happens in winter season that the demand of winter clothes increases therefore this also affects the demand then we have consumer credit for facility uh, students uh, let's consider an example suppose uh, a consu uh, consumer get an facility by a shopkeeper that they will provide them uh, some goods on credit basis in that case uh, many consumers will be available to him for buying the goods because now he is providing goods at credit facility therefore if consumers are having the more credit facility they will demand more therefore this is also a term that in increases the demand and the last one here is government policies students many time government increases the taxes tax rates and all of many goods in that case what happens that because of the additional addition of tax the price of the goods will increase in that case what happen in that case the demand of the good will fall because price is increasing and we understand with the very first term here that price of goods affects the demand so these are the stu uh, term students that factors or determinants of demand now after this students we are having demand function demand function is denoted by a small equation a kind of small equation and it is written here as uh, dx is equals to f f is here nothing but the function function of px pr y then t then e and then o here students all are having a different value i mean uh, meanings here d is demand of commodity demand of commodity then here p px here is students p for price then pr r here stands for related goods related goods y students here refers to income income of the consumer then uh, t refers for taste and preference taste and preference i'll explain this now uh, then after this we have e e is for the expectations the expectations of future prices and then o is for other factors there are many other factors that you can add on now here students this is something that we have not yet decide um discussed taste and preference uh say students there are some uh, people who uh, loves to use the branded clothes so in that case their taste is very different therefore if there is such kind of taste uh, with any uh, with any person in that case the demand is also affected because taste is something which is very unique and it affects the demand now students for today i am switching off now uh, this is the first part of the chapter theory of demand in the second part actually we'll have to make three videos for this chapter because it is very long chapter and very crucial for your icc board exam so till here you can practice from your book uh, i'll refer you uh, your academic books that is the oswal publication book uh, I, i think it is uh, obviously enough for your pr uh, preparations so just go through with your book read line by line and if there is any problem you can contact me also uh, i'll try to solve your problem okay students